Once upon a time, there were two lights. The first was white and gave warmth. The other was fire red but felt as cold as winter. They tried and tried to outshine each other. The battle of the lights is still going on. People from every land come to watch the fight and wonder who will win. A man was sitting on a bench near the park. He knew exactly what time it was and carried a calendar in his pocket. He memorized everything he did as a boy and thought about his memories all the time. He wondered if it's all just been a dream, one fast dream.
There was a king and his wife, and they had some workers who took their orders. They weren't very nice, and they laughed at all the people who lived down below. One day a giant wave came upon them and broke their castle and carried them all the way to the bottom of the mountain. They had to live like everyone else for the rest of their lives, and they didn't laugh at the people anymore. sad because he wanted a girl to like him. He sat by his phone and waited and waited for her. The phone rang all the time, but it was only other girls calling. Her silence felt like warnings to him. The girl did call once, but it wasn't for the reason he had hoped. Maybe she'll call today.
The man was very tired. He promised to walk with his wife to the flower gardens in the morning. When she was out, the man became bored. He didn't work because maybe he didn't need money or own his own castle or something like that. To pass the time, the man would mix all kinds of different things in a big glass and drink them up. This made him very happy, and before he knew, it was time to be tired again. The next morning, his wife walked to the flower gardens all by herself. Wake me when you go I'll stop the day The boy just wanted to sleep all day long. He was tired from waiting by the phone. His mom and dad tried to get him out of bed, but he thought the idea of getting up was a crazy idea. All he wanted to do was dream. He dreamed that he was a king, and he dreamed that he was waving goodbye to someone. Who was she?
loved a girl named Sunny very much, but he knew deep down that she wanted to be somewhere else, somewhere far away where she could run and play and meet other boys and girls. He would not go with her because he liked where he lived just fine. One day the girl was gone and he began to cry. He sometimes wondered if she cried too. This is ridiculous.
The man walked down a long road named Vida Way. During his travels, he threw rocks at windows and trampled on flower gardens. This went on for many years. One day, a strong wind came and swept and rolled the man through a forest and out the other end. He got up and found himself standing in front of two roads. One was lit by white light and the other by a fire red glow. The man didn't know which road to take. What could he do? There were a crowd of people in the town square. The hands of the clock were broken and nobody seemed to know the time. Some women were singing a very strange song in ugly sounding voices while others sang about all you need is love. Some in the crowd didn't sing at all. Suddenly the boy happened upon the chaos and stood among the crowd. He couldn't choose which of the two songs to sing. He looked for someone to help him decide.
The man's head was hurting. His brain was in pain. There was something he needed to know, but the girl with the answers was somewhere else. He walked to the river, a place where together they would always go. He went into the water and waited. He stood alone and wondered as the current grew strong. My mind, it has cast away. I'll repeat today, sins of yesterday. I've relived my crime anywhere I find. Why, 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 the man questioned. Why are we here? What brought us together? Why did I choose you and why did you accept me? His wife answered, but the man didn't hear. He was too busy asking the same questions over and over. The wife tried again, but this time she began to choke and her voice remained unheard. The man just continued to ask his questions.
The boy and his sisters were finally home. Home where their toys were. Home where they lived and played. Home where they had their birthday parties and their pets. Home. Where they heard yelling and screaming and smashing and cursing. Where they heard crying. Home. Like to sleep. It made him remember her voice and the way she laughed when she spoke. The way she sang as she skipped along. The boy dreamed and hoped that one day they will meet. She's the one. She's the one.
The man received a letter. He wondered what took so long. The last time he saw her, she was waving goodbye. She didn't like the way he used to laugh at her, but she never complained. She just went away, and no, she never cried. There's a letter out. I noticed commotion in front of the church. As he approached, he saw two men fighting. They argued over religion. They each had different ideas of what faith is and were fist fighting to win the point. Some prayed on the steps of the church while others just looked up to the sky. The boy looked around for someone to help him decide.
The man felt lost. While walking into town, he spotted a bearded someone standing atop a wooden box. He spoke to a gathered crowd and talked about an idea. He said it was easy to keep away any sad feelings and fear. All we have to do is think really hard about good things only. He asked the crowd to hop aboard his idea. Everyone joined hands and together repeated his chant. Away the danger down. found a store that sold only things in pairs. On the shelf he saw for sale a hat and glove, a ball and bat, a shoe and sock, and a fork and spoon. He thought it was strange, but bought a bird and bee anyway. He named them Lancelot and Guinevere.
thought long and hard about his life. He remembered how he once lived like a king and recalled his ups and downs. The girl he used to dream about came to mind. The letter she sent and her last goodbye. He pondered his mistakes. He thought about the man on his wooden box from years before and how excited the people were as they all held hands that day. He thought about the roads with two lights shining white and fire red. Suddenly out of nowhere he heard voices singing and chanting. They were warm and comforting. He walked to a white light shining through his window. It moved toward him, and he put his hand out to touch its glow. And for the first time in his life, the man felt like he had made a right choice, and it made him smile. He was finally, finally home. Yeah. 